What's good everyone? What is good? Welcome back to the channel with yours truly, of course, Machiavelli. I have no clue what's going on with my mic. It's like kunking out. Like I did a commentary again and it kunked out on me halfway through it. It's being stupid. But anyways, guys, so we are back in this shindig and we are going to be continuing off this speed build. Like what I say like for, but we're continuing off the speed build that I continued yesterday. But I do want to apologize for not like the commentary was cut off yesterday. It's so stupid. I'm trying to fix it, but we'll see what happens. Uh, but anyways, guys, how y'all doing? Hope y'all doing great. Today we were supposed to do shout outs, but since yesterday's commentary got cut off and I have some things to talk about, we're going to do comments tomorrow. So let's get straight into the video. I'm super excited for this. So, uh, yeah, I love this apartment. I, oh, house. It's supposed to be, it's a house apartment, whatever. It, it's pretty much my idea is teens or college students decided to rent this apartment out it has two rooms of course i said before one bathroom a laundry room a dining room living room kitchen that type of stuff um and then the one room has a loft in it which i thought was really cool that room could be like a split bedroom so maybe more than two students could live here maybe three students who knows but yeah that was the goal of this apartment but anyways today's commentary uh today's commentary has to go with the question of the day and it is what type of book are you guys reading as at the moment or what type of book are you like into uh, are you into sci-fi? Are you into fantasy? Are you into romance? Are you into action? Are you into adventure? Um, last time you guys talked to me, I told you guys that I... It's been a while since we had a book talk, right? Last time, um, last time we talked, I told you guys that I just got into fantasy, or not into, got into, but I love fantasy. That still is my favorite, but I've opened my eyes and blossomed to romantic fantasy sci-fi. Or sci it's, 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 um romantic no it's sci-fi romantic fantasy those that's how this will go um my mind is blown okay so i'm not a pure kid i'm 21 <laughs> i've been there i've done that i know my way around it so i'm i'm not pure to the sense that i'm i don't know you know <laughs> I can't describe this right now. It's weird. Also, um, trigger warning or warning to all my pure um, people reading this. Uh, not reading, but listen to this commentary. If you are, you know, not into this section, then I recommend, or into this talk, I recommend you cut the video here and, um, or cut the, or not cut the video, maybe mute the video and listen to some of the music because we about to get a rated R. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> but um, it might be unpleasant for the ears for my, you know, uh, but uh anyways <laughs> so pretty much what I'm talking about is I was just reading this book I don't I just need somebody to talk about it with because I'm feeling flushed <laughs> I just I don't know why I need I just I have no one else to talk about this to like I can't go to mom like yo mom I just read this book you know I can't do that or my bro my brother doesn't read books so he doesn't understand so I have to talk to you guys and if you guys don't listen to me then you guys don't listen to me either like I said but like I said before you're either gonna mute the video or listen so I'm gonna talk but anyway so I read this book recently what was it called? Oh jeez, I have my phone on me. But I read this book. It was um, it was, it was my first. But I've, I've just like I said, I just recently got into romantic, fantasy, fantasy sci-fi. Wow. Okay. So, <laughs> like I said, I I'm not a, a prude version, but a prude person, prude or pure or whatever type of person. But my God, the descriptions, <laughs> the descriptions. <laughs> like I I knew about romantic fantasy books. Fun fact though. Back in the days, I used to think that uh, all books were, you know, all rainbows and sunshine. I never, I honest to God, never thought that you can get R-rated with a book. I think the most R-rated I thought you could get was like a, a, a death scene or maybe cussing. But I think that's pretty much it. I never thought that, you know, how far a book could go. I learned that in um, in high school and I was shook. I was shook to the core. My first ever one, I think, was um, my first ever... Well, I have two. I have like, I have like dark one. <laughs> I have the dark version that I've seen. And I read the, you know, the romantic version. I think the first uh, romantic version I read was a, was a book called Man Whore. Yeah, it's called Man Whore. It's actually a pretty good series. Very hot and steamy in it, but good series nonetheless that was the first one i think i read i read or was it that one was someone else either that one or another one called oh god what is it called jeez there's so much i've read so many books <laughs> in the past like five years i can't even describe it's funny because if you would have said i would like reading or listening to audiobooks in like 2013 i'd call you an idiot but after 2014 i was obsessed um 
what is it called? I can't, the challenge? I can't remember what the book was called, but I know for a fact one of the first ones I read was uh, Man Whore, and that book was very descriptive. <laughs> it was pretty good too. It was good though. I really enjoyed it. It was, it was interesting in the sense that, like I said, I had a very pure mind, and so I was taken back. I was, I was, I was very shook. I think the first time I read it, I had to pause it and be like, "Whoa, did they just say the c word?" Or "Whoa, like, what are they doing?" Or like, "Whoa." on the table or the countertop you know i was just i had a very pure mind back then i guess you could say but um I could, of course as it went on i got more immune to it but then i discovered the dark side <laughs> of audiobooks or not or books in general which was like you know the erotic dark version not dark version but the dark ones like i remember my first one my first one <laughs> Y'all gonna be judging me like, what? Malik, listen to erotic dark books? Yes, I do, okay? They're pr they're pretty interesting sometimes, the storyline. But the first one, the amount of... The amount of um, people getting kidnapped in Mexico, I've read, to the point where I'm like, I'm not going to Mexico myself. Even though I'm a dude, and I don't think they'll take me, but you never know. Like, I'm like, my daughters ain't going to Mexico. Nah, the amount of people that got taken in Mexico in these books. Um, I think my favorite one right now, or back then, was Saving Soraya. I think how they say it, but Saving Soraya was so good. And then there was like Rising Isabel. I think that's the second book, but I recommend you go like listen to that Saving Soraya. Good book there. Um, but anyways, yeah, I think my first ever dark one was um, Captured in the Dark. That was that was that took me like the first time. Like I said, the first time when I read the crude or the the you know the romantic books with the the get down in it i don't know how to describe it i would i would be true to me and just say it but then i feel like i still got some young like some young viewers out there and you know i don't want to taint them it's not right it's not it's not their time to get tainted yet tainted yet so i don't know I'm trying to hold back, but at the same time, it's hard to describe things because they are very descriptive in books, extremely descriptive. Like I, I can't even describe how to how they describe these characters in these books. It's so, it's wow. <laughs> if you read them, you understand. But yeah, I read the first dark one, and I was taken back. Like I was very taken back when I first read that book. Well, the was captured in the dark. I, like I said. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I expected in, with books. I guess I didn't read them, so I didn't expect that much. But wow, my mind has changed, and I've come a long way since then. And for me to be shook over what happened, so yeah, I just I have no clue. I'm talking to you guys about this. I have no clue why. I guess I'm weird. Okay, I I I'm extremely weird. I have no clue else to talk to this about. So I talk to you guys this way. And is, am I making any sense? No, but. Just listen to me ramble because I have no one else to ramble about. So, there. But yes, I'm just talking, telling you guys that I was shook that I read some sci fi romantic fantasies and the crudeness in them has blown me away. Like, instant nosebleed. I, surprisingly, I've only had one nosebleed from one book. Yeah, literally. Think of Japanese nosebleed. That's what I had. <laughs> Dead set. I was reading the book and my nose started to bleed. It got that intense. <laughs> really did. Like my nose was bleed. I, I was shook. I had to laugh. When I felt the nose dripping down my nose, when I felt the blood dripping down my nose, I had to laugh. I, I burst out laughing. I'm like, mom, I have a nosebleed. She's like, what happened? I was like, I was reading a book. She's like, what? I'm like, don't worry about it. But honestly, that, that book was intense. Like the descriptions. I have... Applaud to the authors. I couldn't get that descriptive. Like the way they like. So, I need to read. I actually need to read some of those stuff. People are like, what are you talking about? Can I remember a scene? I think this one scene went. So okay, I can't even use the words. <laughs> I can't even use the word. He, he. I can't. I can't. I can't. I. I can't. I can't do it. See, if I had my thing, I would. Okay, I can't even play it back. My my video will get. <laughs> my video would get um. It'll get a. Uh, What's it called again? It would get rated, I think. I don't know who I I'm afraid to like actually play the audiobook for you guys because <laughs> Whew. Anyways, but yeah, I had I just read that book the other day and I just had something to talk to. I was so shook. I was like, wow, the descriptions. But moving on, 
I have no clue why I'm telling you guys this. Like I said, I'm gonna want to talk to you guys about. But what I'm asking you guys is what kind of books are you into lately? What kind of books are you reading? And if you have any good suggestions, let me know. I don't really care. I don't care if it's like romantic or adventure. I love adventure books, fantasy, whatever it is. I'm interested. As long as the characters are interesting. One thing I don't like is if the female character or the male character is whiny. I don't like whiny people. They just irks me. So if they don't have that as main character, I love strong female characters are my favorite. If you have any books like that, let me know. Um, another book that I read that I've really... Oh, you know a book I can't wait till it comes out? But it's coming out next... next. Um, I think I don't know if it's at the end of this year or next year. Um, it's um The Cruel Prince. Oh my god, I can't wait. I'm still counting the days. I read that book back in January. I think I ranted to you guys about that. Um, about how it hurt me because I have to wait until next year for it to come out. Like, I'm still in pain. Like, I need the book to come out already. But yeah, I'm super excited for that book to come out. That's an absolutely great book. I recommend it to all you guys. Also, you guys have asked me about Coach Long. Um, that book that, you know, the teenager and the coach and they do their ish too. That book is very descriptive too. <laughs> all these books, I'm telling you. I, I honestly can't believe I've been miss oh, missing out. Oh my God. <laughs> it's all good. Oh. What's wrong with me? Sometimes I just need to keep my mouth shut and call it a day. But anyways... I need to go pick up my mom, so I'm going to have a cop enough this commentary here. I hope you guys enjoyed. I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. If you guys have actually finished do this commentary, you guys are a G. I would have left a long time ago, but you guys made it. So shout out to you, all my crude people out there. <laughs> Rated R for everybody. Anyways, <laughs> bye guys.